Emmanuel Harris is the deepest man. And it's going to go through the end zone, so it'll be a touchback. Inside for a small guy. Jones is going to keep here on the read option, and he'll get the first down as he slips down at the 36-yard line. Jones, he checks the sideline, and they'll run the uh, boundary, and not much doing for Owens. Three red hats for Vegas around the football. Jameer Outsey in the last couple of years. Yes, he's been a, a physical presence. The Mike linebacker Pharrell Hester was also in there. Third down and seven now for the Lobos. And Jones misses his target. And it'll be a fourth down. Gillum steps up, deep shot, and that was on a different page. His receiver broke off the route. That's Sean Jones. Well, Jones trying to make a man miss. He does for a moment, and he'll get very close to a first down football. And this is going to be close to a first down. This is Zanir Schuler. In the backfield, these guys are very similar. This is Davis. It's third and short. And he didn't get much, but I think he got enough to advance a little bit. Jones, three-step drop, and he put it on his man, but great coverage, and it came undone. Ron Jones. Actually, this is Patrick Reed, and Reed loses it, and it goes out of bounds. It's wide receiver now, but he got reps this week, and I guess this is part of the package they put in for him. Lucky for him, that ball shot out of bounds. And a couple for Max Gillum. He's got Thomas back in there. Thomas takes the football. Thomas is not going to get there. Drag down from behind. Aaron Blackwell got penetration. Mythical national titles. A little jet sweep. And UNLV does a good job of stretching this out. But I'll tell you, Jake Griffin's got some quicks. Third and a couple. And this is well designed. And the option is going to pick up enough for a first down out to the 43-yard line. Storming back. They ended up losing the football game. But it was 52-43 in the end. And this is caught for about a yard. Second down and eight. Max Gillum. Good set. And it's picked off underneath by New Mexico. Ever. And Toey is inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. Eva Toey, the senior from Phoenix. Watch him take off, reads the quarterback size. Techman runs his route, or Woods, excuse me, inside. Too much. And he's just reading the eyes. You see the lack of eye discipline there? Staring it down the entire time. It. And that is a touchdown, Zanir Schuler. And New Mexico breaks the ice on the first play of the second quarter. New Mexico drops seven. And the connection in and out of the hands, though. He had it and lost it. It was Tylee Collins. Like that in a moment, Patrick Reed is in there, and they're going to run a reverse right now to Elijah Lilly. He's got room. Lilly first down, out of bounds, 37-yard line, flip side of the 50, run out there by Dalton Baker. Part of your, your way to make a defense run sideline to sideline and take advantage of, of defenses that are extremely aggressive. Owens, no, it's kept by Jones. And he's inside the 15 to the 13. Boy, was that a nice play fake on the read option. He picked up about 15. Tell you, that's an excellent job out on the edge by the big tight end, Trent Sellers, excuse me, Braden Dickey. You know, you never know when you run the zone read. Let's keep it. That's a great job. Reed in the football game. He had the cutback. Ball comes out. And UNLV's on it. What a hit in the backfield. He got it back. He got it back? Patrick Reed got it back. Javen White knocked it free. How did UNLV not recover this? Leaves off. Look at the lane Reed had cut back. But, but watch it close up. Boom! That is a big time Great hit. tackle. And right there, instead of jumping on it, Gabe McCoy. Gabe McCoy tried to pick it up. First and goal. 
And Jones on the edge. Dalton and Baker. That's a great that tackle by no Dalton fence. Baker. Schuler and Owens. It'll be Owens, and he's not going to get in. No, he did get in. Second effort. Got it across the goal line. Touchdown, New Mexico. Good. Doesn't look like a guy that would be a. And he was stopped yeah, initially. He was stopped in second effort. Got him in. That's a great effort. And they go underneath and blown up at the 15 yard line right after making the receptions is Makai Stevenson. And big kid gets it again. He's got a first down. Davis and UNLV reacts. Outsie with the with the play. Great play by Jameer Outsie. Andrew Shelley. He's missed both extra points. One was blocked. And this thing's perfect. Right down the middle. A much easier situation. Quick throw, slant, came out. Again. Complete. Again, what room did I say needs to step up? And that's uh Salanoa Alawali. Deep shots, got a man, it is caught, it's gonna go the distance, no flags down, Elijah Lilly, touchdown, New Mexico. Sherrod Jones took a lick, a 73-yard hookup. But watch, he's just gonna go straight up the hash. This is a great job, good route, good call. And, but you got to just continue to run. Try to hip up. Watch if he can get to his hip and just keep running. Stay with him. Run. Stay on his hip and run. But when you jump and dive, you take yourself completely out of the play. If you stay on his hip. And that is a first down. And the crowd, at least some of them, stand and give a, an ovation side on second and ten. Gillum. Looking backside now, he's in trouble and he's thrown down a big loss of sack back Cody at the 36-yard line. It is Cody Baker. End up running in the sacks. Well, Baker but just, in just step up, yeah. just step up a, a notch and stay there. Clearly in New Mexico, far more efficient and comfortable with what they're doing offensively. QB draw for Gillum. This is the first time he's really tried to run with it. He gets chased down around the 40-yard line. Put points up, get out of bounds. Jones, bigger opening. Got a block out front to the 40-yard line, or very close to it, on the other side of the 50 first down. Evan Austry brings him down. Jones got everybody set up. And on the slant, it's complete inside the 30 to 25-yard line. It's the big man, Delane Hart Johnson. However, Dial up your best so you can finish it because you don't want to throw one up and have Vertical a Vertical wrap, 50-50 ball, it's caught. It's Touchdown, Ube. Pass interference. It did look like he pushed off. No flag was thrown. Touchdown, New Mexico. Position to make a play seemingly on the ball. Let's see if there's a significant watch, watch push Watch the here. hands. Get rid of the play. Throw it at the feet of the receiver. Loss of four. Pressure coming, sack. And Gillum did well not to drop the Epting. football. Rashawn Epting. That is Epting for the year. He's got five and a half. He comes off the right edge because they felt very comfortable with their game plan and to be in this situation. And there's a completed pass for a first down. Flip side of the 50, down to the 40 yard line goes Jay Griffin. He's made an impact. He fumbled. And he came, the ball came out late. Ball came out, Demetrius Gibbs still has it. This one could go the distance. It will. Gibbs, touchdown. Excuse me, Javen White with it. Javen White with the football. Now the whole key is, is the knee down before it comes out. I don't know if we're gonna be able to tell there. So right there, he... actually it's Demetrius Gibbs picks it up. Okay, Gibbs had it initially. Knee hit there. And watch Gibbs pick it up right here. And immediately, Patrick Reed jumps on his back. We go back, look, knees down. Yeah, he's down. Offense that they usually have with Armani Rodgers. 
And here's a fake punt. Room up the middle, first down, UNLV. I don't know if it was called from the sideline or if it was read by Hayes Hicken. Whatever it was, I liked it. Actually, it's not It's not Hicken. This is Malaki Miles. Makes a guy miss in the hole. Quarterback run game at all with Gillib, who we were told you know, he can run the football. You can tell, he feels he. He's got pressure coming backside. He's sacked back at the 50-yard line. Third and 17. So there's nowhere for him to go with the ball. You see what New Mexico does on this coverage is run right straight to the flat for him. You gotta have an understanding, sit in open areas. Third and 17, in. deep ball, and it is incomplete for UNLV. And this is Williams first down out to the 23 yard line. Marcus Williams, the uh, sophomore from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Five, they need the 33 yard line. And they run a fade and a good adjustment. First down. In the air, Delane Hart Johnson. And Jones, you watch him over there, he looks out there and he gives him a signal. Just before this, he taps the back of his helmet, sees the press coverage, and then they run the fade. He's gonna throw another fade, and the catch is made by Hart Johnson once again from Arizona. He said, you know what, I was pleasantly surprised with the talent in the wide receiver room. Absolutely. Because it, it's a team that's been running triple option, right? right. A little better than that, though, with the, whatever breeze is at the back. This is a shot toward the hash mark and a touchdown to Emmanuel Harris. Boy, was that delivered by Jones. Right on the money on a seam route. Touchdown, Lobos. Third touchdown of the ball game for the Tennessee transfer, Sharon Jones. Las Vegas. I don't know who expected that. 35 nothing. What a throw. rushed four times for eight yards. Have not got it going for the others. This is his fifth carry. And there he goes to the boundary. If Dijon Rogers didn't bounce him out, he'd have taken that the distance. And burn. Extremely quick team, but this is the first time he's had some room to get loose. Nice job by Gio up front. He lets go not to get the hold. Seven yards on the ground third best in college football and a strike and a completion inside the 30 to the 27 yard line that's the best throw of the day as brandon presley brings it in his first catch he's running a wheel route and he missed it he tried to come back to it he, it almost like he forgot where it was they had a wheel route going outside on the left side of the field it's wide open but you can see where his eyeballs are all over the place Gillum, slant, complete, inside the five, touchdown to Presley. And the Rebels are on the board. <laughs> See the zone fake and the slant route comes right in there. It's a beautiful throw. And catch and way to come in running hard. No, they didn't. But they don't need to throw it anymore with the big lead. And they're going to get a nice game here on first down. Those weeks that he was there, he had a bad hamstring injury, couldn't practice at all. So he was taking mental reps. Here he is, tucking it down. He's got a first down. Lobos. This is just everyone getting walled down. It's a good job by the offensive line to wash everyone down. Third down and six. Jones, pressure coming, hit as he releases, and it was nearly hauled in, despite that shot by Elijah Lilly in the first quarter. It hit the back of a Rebel. It hit the back of a Rebel live football. And New Mexico is on it. Alex Perry, the recovery. Wow. And now the Lobos set up shot just outside the 10-yard line. They'll run the fade to Johnson, touchdown. Delane Hart Johnson, touchdown, New Mexico. The punt. Since then, they have been 
a really balanced and efficient offense. Oh. Trips left, they'll throw into the boundary, and the fade was not handled by Makai Stevenson. Set up a return. Hayes trying to get to the wall. He will, got a big opening. He's fearless to the 35-yard line. Tremendous return. And Rebels fans disappointed today because they're getting blown out by the Lobos. And uh, another solid game for New Mexico. And this is the first carry today for Davon Vigilant. He's sure of what's going on. He wants to, to make this a great program. Jones has a man and interference in the end zone. He was trying to get it to Davon Vigilant. A lot of room. Won't matter. Going into the end zone for a touchdown is Zanir Schuler. They're an extra point from half a hundred, as Barry Switzer used to say. <laughs> 50 to 7. Touchdown for Schuler. And this is Presley to catch at the 30 yard line, and he'll lean forward, carry a couple bodies out to the 33 yard line. He ultimately lost 52 43. Williams again. about the midfield stripe. And the ball as well. And, and they got waxed for a while last week. Giving up 38 points a game. And that's complete. First down. That's complete. And he chose the wrong side. Yeah, it's interference. That ball was picked off also downfield. If it stands, it was picked off. <laughs> Here's an RPO complete to Makai Stevenson. A three right and one left. And he goes short side, end zone shot. Presley, touchdown. Actually, that's not Presley, that's uh, 10. Darren Woods, Darren Woods. Our drive for the Rebels. Good throw. Good throw and catch. Darren Woods, well, as you often say, State, that's their next game. Utah State, we watched them last night on the tube, and they blew out. That is recovered by the Rebels. Can't, can't, can't advance it. That's it. Paola, tight end. The new daddy at 11. Gillum, deep out cut, and off the hands. His head, it's going to be on him too fast, and trying to find it's very tough. Toward Presley, and he overthrows him, and that'll be all. As the Rebels, yeah, it's it's a it's a good idea. You can get a look at some guys, but I also feel like you know if if things time up properly for you, so five to play four, it, it is truly you know, beneficial for the players, and it ought to be. Here's a big run right now. This is the kid who's had a big game. Zanir Schuler, he's been in the end zone twice already. Really on the, on the carry. Right. <laughs> he looked exactly like him. Big body, but you see the good feet by Schuler. He's able to get upfield and watch him finish this run. Yeah, he's not running out of bounds. No. And New Mexico improves to 3-2 and two with a 50-14 victory. And Tony Sanchez and UNLV, they'll have to regroup as they drop to two and three. New Mexico, we'll see them next week up in Fort Collins against Colorado State.